Hello YouTube, this is Dakima2 from Dodge The Mall and today I'm going to be showing you the Simutrans tutorial that I promised to you in my last video but never got around to doing uh, mainly because I wasn't satisfied with the video quality of the last video that I did so this tutorial as I promised would be about setting up your first game the previous tutorial was about how to install Simutrans so now here we are in Semutrans 120.1.3, I'm on a Mac, and if you have a Windows computer, then you'll be able to just follow the same steps that I did in the Mac installation video, and it should work out pretty fine for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new game here, um, and I'm going to show you th what this window here does. Now what you see here is this is a map picker. You can scroll through any of these, it doesn't really matter which one you do. I'm going to just leave it on this. Down here you can choose your map size. It doesn't matter what you do, same with this. I'm gonna make a bit of a bigger map here. I'm gonna do, um, how about 2048 by 2048. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose our number of cities. And to do this, we are going to select how many ever you want. I'm gonna leave it at 128. Median citizens per city. I want a lot of citizens. So I'm going to do something crazy like put two ones here. So we're going to have a lot of people. Now inner city road length, I'm going to leave this the way it is. Factories and shops, I'll leave this the way it is too. Tourist attractions, everything is decided for you really. So all you do is it it corresponds to the map size. So it's it correlates with the map size. So extra settings, we're not going to really mess with these. These are advanced settings. Um, I might do a video on this later about how to make how to make adjustments to each of these. It's relatively straightforward. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to start our game. It's going to take a second here to load. So Semi-Trains is finished loading. As you can see, this took about uh, four minutes. Not too bad. The problem is that there are a lot of high population cities and so it has to generate them in a relatively quick amount of time. It takes a lot of processing power to do. It takes a relatively small amount of space, but you know, it still takes a lot of time. So what we are doing right now is we are looking at one of the cities. I don't know if this is the biggest city in the game, but we are going to find out shortly here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Um, and I'm going to go over here to this map icon and we are going to expand the map just a little bit. And as you can see here, there are some, uh, this is the map that we created initially. Now, what you can see here is that there are these grid looking kind of grayish things. These are your cities. So here's one right here. This is Southampton. Um, it's a big city. So this looks like the biggest city in the game, but I'm not entirely sure. We can find out pretty easy. Um, and to find out what you do is you go over here to lists and then you click on city lists and then you go down and it shows you, let's see here. So Southampton is a second largest city, but it says Sim City is a largest city, but it doesn't really appear that way for some reason. And it's probably because everybody's concentrated in buildings taller buildings but it still doesn't make sense now armed with this information what we can do is we can actually establish a bus line so let's just go to a random city here let's go to Truro and what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom out a little bit and get a little bit of an overview of the city now when you're establishing a bus line you want to make it so that you hit all the major points of interest this is how you can accumulate more cash. As you can see right now, I'm at 5,000. And it only starts to depreciate once you establish a bus line or a um, subway line or a train line or a, or a freight line. So let's see here. Let's go into road tools. Let's go to garage. And let's put down a garage right here. Let's click on this. And we want to choose a bus that costs cheaply. So as you can see here, there is a cost per kilometer. We want to keep an eye on that and make sure that we don't go too overboard with this because right now we're not expecting to make a profit. We want to make keep our revenue at a stable pace 
And by picking a vehicle that keeps the revenue costs down, we can make sure that we can avoid bankruptcy or going in the red, as they say. So let's click on this. We want to be in the black. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new line. So click on this here and then click on create new line. We're going to add a stop. Um, to do this, we're going to have to create a bus station first. So you have your road tools ribbon open. We are going to go to bus stop. Now click that and we're going to go down here. We're going to put a bus stop right in front of, hang on, let me collapse this. So we're going to put a bus stop right in front of City Hall. So let's do that right now. And there we go, City Hall bus stop. Now, let's come down here and let's put one in front of this stadium. And there you go, you got another bus stop. So let's put one over here. So as you can see, I'm hitting all the points of interest so that I can maximize efficiency. There we go, another bus stop. And as the bus travels, it says 0.54 cents per kilometer. That's how much gas it burns. We want to make sure that we make the shortest possible route between each of the destinations, even if that means that we have to create new roads or create a tunnel, etc. So whatever we have to do to keep costs down. So let's come over here and make another bus stop, uh, Russian wheel. And then let's come over here. This looks like a high school, oh, elementary school. Okay. So we have our basic setup here. Now let's click exit here and go back into the bus garage. And we are going to come back to this line. We're gonna click on schedule. And what we're gonna do now is go to the elementary school. And you can do it in any order you want. Russian wheel, winter garden, church. City Hall and Stadium. And we are going to click Promote to Line. This adds the bus to the line now. And click Exit. And now we are ready to go. So we're going to go to the bus station here and zoom in. And we are going to click start and the bus will be assigned to the line and start picking up passengers. So we're going to follow this bus along and we are going to speed up the game. So as you can see we are in the red right now. But as the game goes along, we're going to start making some more money here. And everything's going to level out and we're going to be in the black. So this red that you see here is going to go to the black. And yes, as we see here, we're starting to make more money. We're starting to gain revenue. So as you can see, we've made a lot of money so far. I think that this is good for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to expand our line a little bit. Take a look at how boats and trains and airplanes interact with the line management system. And we're going to go into the deeper functionality of the game. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please be sure to follow Dodge Them All on Facebook and Twitter.